Welcome to our garden uh, boat repair tutorial. Starting today with this 49er centerboard. It's got some uh, big deep scratch here. If you can have a look closely, you should be able to see this area just around here. You can hear it run the fingernail over it. It's quite deep. It's not going to polish out and uh, it's not going to sand out either. So we're going to have to put some gel coat on that. So we're running most of uh, all, well, all of these repair tutorials out of a pretty simple, basic toolbox, all of which you can find uh, at most uh, online uh, composite and fiberglass repair stores, or even uh, most chandleries would stock a lot of this these materials. Tape up around the area, leaving not that much, maybe 10 mil, a centimeter either side of the worst scratches. This is just going to give me a guide. So when we sand and prepare this for the gel coat to stick to, we don't go too far into the uh, into the undamaged board. So I'm using a piece of sandpaper about 150 grit here, and I'm just going to key up very carefully, sand gently until I actually get to the bottom of the scratch. So this is two things we're doing here. One is to make sure that there's a good a braided surface, a rough surface for the gel coat to stick to. And secondly, to make a kind of a smooth dish uh, surface uh, so that the gel coat can flow into that hole effectively, a very shallow, very shallow hole uh, or a dip. And then when we put the, the, re, put the new gel coat on, it's gonna fill into that hole and we're gonna be able to sand that uh, with the, the new material back flush with the surrounding surfaces. So quick close-up look at the surface we've prepared. This is all now all ready to apply a fresh gel coat. Action. Okay so we've got gel coat, we've got catalyst or a hardener, technically it's called catalyst to go with a gel coat, and we've got this magic ingredient which is called wax and this is very important which we'll come to later. We've got a brush, a mixing stick, we've got an empty yogurt pot, uh, protective gloves. Okay, so let's get some gel coat out here. Careful as you open the pot. And this is uh, straight from the manufacturer, match color to uh, the boat, or in this case, the centerboard. So I'm just gonna spoon a little bit. We don't need very much at this point. A uh, couple of doubles of, uh, of gel coat into the pot here. I'm gonna move the pot well away. And then we're gonna put some catalyst in. Now we're gonna put two coats in total onto this uh, repair. The first coat, and now I'm trying to do this in a very untechnical manner. Uh, so we're gonna put two little dribbles, two little dribbles of catalyst. Technically it's 2%, so we're kind of guessing, but as long as you're approximately right, then this is gonna go off absolutely fine. So two droplets, I guess. That was a good way of describing how much we put in there. Okay, we've finished mixing and we've mixed really thoroughly and make sure you get right into the little corners because that's really important. There's a uh, uncatalyzed gel coat there. You haven't uh, got a complete mix. Wipe the, uh, the stick off and put brush in quite a thin-ish coat. Just brush out to the edge of the tape Okay, so we're on to the second coat now. This time, it's a slightly different order. I like to get the gel coat out of the gel coat pot and then add in a tiny little bit of wax. Now, sometimes you can get the gel coat with wax in, but often than not, gel coat doesn't come with wax in. So, same as a catalyst, a little couple of spots of wax into the gel coat. Then mix that thoroughly up. Mix all the wax in. Okay, and then add the catalyst to the uh, wax and gel coat mix. A couple of drops, and that's all we need. Mix that well in. So the gel coat is cured. It's very hard now. 
uh, it's nicely proud of the surrounding surfaces. So now it's time to sand it down. To do that, we need some sandpaper, wet and dry sandpaper, we'll do this wet. We've got uh, water in a very tasty leek and potato soup pot. So all of the tools we're using is uh, stuff we can find around the house and, the, and, then, and from our basic toolbox. So I'm gonna start off, we've got various grades of sandpaper. We're gonna sand through all of these grades. I'm gonna start off with 500 grade and we'll talk through the other grades as we go. I'm gonna fold the sandpaper into a smaller piece so it's a bit more manageable in size. And again, and we've got a wooden block. A wooden block, just a simple piece of block, and that's gonna stop, uh, that's gonna allow us to sand flat surfaces. Now, good trick here is a pencil. I'm just gonna just scrape all over the job here with a pencil, and that's gonna show me where I've sanded and where I haven't been. So any hollows and dips. And the idea here is we will sand all the way down until we hit the tape. Then we'll remove the tape. We'll do the second part, which would be taking the uh, the thickness of the tape down, uh, so it's flush, fair, and uh, and then uh, the same shape as all the surroundings. Okay, so a little bit of water. Dip the sandpaper in the water, and then just start off a circular motion, trying to make sure that you're not sanding the surrounding area. You're only working on the surface. Uh, that we've added. And you'll start to see the paint, the pencil lines disappear slowly. So we've got down to the level of the tape, so it's now time to start pinning the tape off and repeat the circular motion. Trying to stay on the, working on the piece of gel coat, the area of gel coat that you've added, not the edges. Okay, so we're getting close now to uh, the gel coat that we've added onto the centerboard uh, to be flush and level with the surrounds. But there's still a very faint line, and yet actually this is where the pencil trick really comes into its own because you can see how the pencil actually really shows up this line around the outside. We're really getting there now. We can barely see the uh, the repair, and nor can we barely feel it. Let's try this pencil trick with the pencil. With the pencil, we can still just see a really faint line all the way around the edge here. This end here, pretty good across here, the size, and then another one at the end here. So, I would say, and the fact that we can't really even feel a lump there, it feels completely smooth to the finger. Uh, it's now time to change grades. Next grade, we we'll go down to a thousand grade. And at that point, we want to get this, these lines or the edge of our, of our repair completely disappear. And as you go down these grades, it's not a bad thing. There's nothing wrong with extending the area out. The sandpaper you're using, is really quite fine now. It's removing very little material. And we can't see any lines can't see the edges. The edges of our repair have completely disappeared. So now all we're looking to do is remove the finer and finer scratches until we can polish up. The final grade, 2000. Rubbing compound. An old t-shirt with a lot of hard rubbing. It's gone. So that's our garden boat repair tutorial. Thanks for watching and I hope that was helpful. Cheers.